What's up guys, my name is TorchRW and today I'm going to give you my thoughts on Destiny the Collection. So, if you uh, guys do not know, uh, Bungie have announced the Destiny the Collection and which contains uh, the Destiny the game and the four uh, expansions to date. Um, Dark Below, House of Wolves, The Taken King and the latest one that's coming on 20th of September, Rise of Iron. So the Destiny Collection itself, it's uh, two possible abilities. It, it's for people for two reasons. One, if you are new to Destiny, this is the Collection Bundle at a really good decent price. Or, or another option, if you are a current uh, Destiny player, but you have been doing your Destiny experience on the legacy consoles 360 and PS3, then this is also for you because for legacy console owners, you do have a choice of the upgrade, and that is basically the collection at a discounted price. And so, this is what the page I am now on is on my Xbox One, the Destiny Collection update, upgrade, is because uh, the Xbox has te detected, it's because within my Microsoft account, that, um, that I've previously played the Taken King on my 360, and so for me, as a resident of the UK, I can get the collection at for twenty four twenty four pounds or Pacific twenty three ninety nine pounds, uh, which I think is probably twenty four pounds. I'll probably be around what thirty dollars. I think I do apologize. Correct me in the comments below. Um, I'll do some research actually after the recording of this video to do double check. But twenty three pound, twenty four pound. That is a massive, huge bargain for technically four expansions and the game itself. What can you ask for? It's 27% off. It's just absolutely incredible. All from the original price, £50. That's 50% off. That is just a massive, massive saving. It's absolutely incredible. So this offer... Uh, says according to the um, Xbox store, apologies you cannot see this on camera, but I'm reading it to you now. It's valid until the 30th of September 2016, so uh, not long. You may basically got a month at 10 days after the release of Rise, Rise of Iron. So, what do you, as I, as I previously mentioned, I say you get all the latest. Um, expansions, of course. You also, if you pre, if you pre-order Rise of Iron, you and the collection, you get get the Iron Galahorn and the Gallo Wing. I mentioned in a previous video that the Galahorn is back, and there's a very exciting news to tell. You. I cannot wait. Um, so for me, as a Destiny player, and as I previously said in the video, I was a bit disappointed that. This wasn't coming to 360 Rise of Iron, but with this collection and a discounted price, I was actually turned sides. I really was because I wasn't really that. If I, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't actually turned by the Rise of Iron. I was like the fact that yes, I do own the Xbox One before the Destiny decided to move to the current gen. I wasn't actually turned by the fact that I couldn't do my Destiny adventure. Yes, I could. Yes, I, yes, you can afford it. You know, why not bother? But no. Sometimes the gaming world can take over your life in bad ways. A lot of uh, good friends have actually said that to me in the past. And yeah, I do agree with them. It does take over your life. And, but... Yes, I know, okay, so why you just mentioned you now doing this video. Yeah, everyone changes their opinions and choices of their lives in time. 
But, uh, so yeah, going back to this, uh, so my thoughts on the just proofs at least so it's a really good discount price, so the page I am on, and of course, there's not really, uh, say, so this is the original Destiny collection of the store, it will be also, of course, on your PlayStation Store, on PlayStation 4, uh, so it's exactly the same thing, apart from price difference, um, and of course with this, Peggy 16. Yeah, uh, the two trailers. Beautiful bit of music, I love it. Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gallowhorn and Iron Gallowing Sparrow. That'd probably be one of my favourite trailers of all time, especially in the gaming world. That is just an amazing trailer. I absolutely love it. Uh, so, so yeah, that was actually planned, by the way. I just scrolled down, yeah, alright, why not show it? So, yeah, my thoughts, I think, I don't think this is going to be, obviously, the sell big, because, of course, like, I only really, like, 10% of the entire Destiny players actually played on Legacy consoles, yeah, 90% were on the current gen, so, it's only a matter of speaking if that 10% will buy the collection, because, of course, not everyone can't afford a current gen right now, and yeah, there's so many controversy of oh, it's been three years. You should you should like say that well, everyone spends their money all different ways. It's a part of life. For crying out loud. So I think that really sort of quickly sums up this. Uh, my thoughts and gathers on the collection. I will pre-order it near the time, and I I hope to give you maybe my thoughts on. On Rise of Iron itself, see hopefully if it's worth, you know the, you know the change of the console. But of course, leaving legacy consoles. I mean now maybe Bungie tonight's focused on their future content for Destiny itself as a franchise. And so I think this video really brings it to an end. So uh, thanks for watching. I do have. Uh, you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for latest more content like this and uh, comment down below on what your thoughts on destiny itself actually so far um, there's so much there is so much love and hate from destiny it's really half decision world in the community it's just unreal uh, so yeah thanks for watching I do hope you enjoy this day Take care. Take care. Bye.